What's going on everyone, Hayden here, back again with another video, and as I'm sure you saw in the title and thumbnail, we're going to be talking about how to actually go through and find your products from AliExpress. So a lot of people have been asking me, how do I pick my products? How do I even pick my niche? How do I find products that are actually good quality? Because you know, you're not ordering them and sending them to your door. So you're just kind of banking off of reviews and other factors that we'll talk about. But so I'm just going to dive right into all that. I'm going to try and jump into my computer. I've never really done that before on a YouTube video. So hopefully the recording looks good, the sound and everything. So let's jump on into my computer. Okay, so now that we're on my computer, I hope that this sounds good and looks good. It doesn't look like it's too high quality of a video, but hopefully that's all right because I'll just put a little box in the corner. Um, you're probably not going to be looking at that anyways. But we're here on AliExpress. I'm going to jump in, kind of go through, pick a couple products and show you guys what I'd be looking for and more specifically what I'm not looking for because a lot of this is filtering out the bad just so that you can weed what's good. Right, 95% of the products you don't even want to mess with. So I'm going to kind of break down. I wrote down, you know, I have some notes. And I'm going to kind of show you guys my thoughts and what I'm looking for when I go pick my products. So first thing we're going to do, um, I'm just going to pick phone cases. Let's say for iPhone here. Which I know that this is not something I do at all. I have no connection to this, no store. Uh, I do know people who do this, so I know it's something that does well. But the first thing I'm going to do is filter out by order amount. Now, what does this mean? Um... I'm basically looking for people with 800 to 1,000 orders. Now, I know people who t probably talk to you guys about look for 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. That's great, but honestly, you're trying to catch a trend here before it blows up. So how can you do that if there's already tens of thousands of orders that's already starting to get saturated? So um, one thing I do want to point out before like you know, talking about filters before we actually go through the products is do not. I usually make this mistake. I see people make the mistake all the time. Do not filter out by shipping, right? I used to click like free shipping only. But you'll have products uh, more often than not that will have e-packet shipping for let's say a dollar. So you would not see those if you filtered out for free shipping. But since they're charging you for a dollar for shipping, they might lower the product cost a dollar twenty. So overall, you're still coming out ahead. So I'd rather just kind of look through everything instead of having to filter out and potentially miss a good deal like that. You know, some of my products I have found because of not filtering out by that. So just looking down here, um, I'm just gonna take. One of these down a little bit. This has 17,000 orders, as you can see. These are super cheap. Okay, that's 11,000 orders. That's might be good. I'll open that one up in a new tab. Free shipping as well, so that's a very low product cost. This would be something you could do a, a buy two, get one free, buy one, get one free, a free plus shipping offer. For those, I usually try and keep it under 3 to $4 product cost. Oh, these look good. Leather or whatever, nice material. Kind of luxury looking. You could get in that niche. So if you're running influencer shoutouts for this one right here, uh, let me pull that up. Yeah, if you're running influencer shots for this, there's a lot of different luxury pages you could run this on, uh, and you could target the hell out of that on Facebook ads. Uh, as you can see here, a lot of different color options, black, brown, pink, red. So you can target male and female, since you have those different color options. Um, I always look for something with three color options or more. That's kind of my cutoff. Uh, as you can see, also gives a lot, a lot of different selections for people with different you know, iPhones. So you're really casting a broad net there, yet it's still very specific. Okay, now as you can see, this doesn't have e-packet shipping, but at the same time, it's not going to be a big deal, right? Let me tell you why. 20 to 40 day shipping, kind of what they're estimating there, it's probably going to end up being around 25. People are expecting it to take that long. Like we talked about in yesterday's video on how to deal with long shipping times from AliExpress, it's not a big deal. If you're doing a free plus shipping on this, people are going to be expecting it to take a few weeks anyways, and it'll ship to any country. I don't think the shipping price will really change for that. Your total price is still under $2. That's perfect free plus shipping offer. Again, like I said, I'm not doing any of these products. I have nothing to do with this. Uh, my thoughts right now, just by looking at this, if I were to do it, I would do a free plus shipping offer and I'd probably charge like eight to nine bucks for shipping just because your your margins are there, right? It's under $2 product cost and normally I'll look for about under three to four. So if you cannot hit double digits with shipping, have it stay under $10, that's gonna be really, really good. Now, second thing I look for when I actually found a product that looks good, has a good amount of orders, you know, kind of fits some of my criteria, go to feedback, right? So I'll look through the reviews and, oh, perfect, look at this. Basically, everything's five star, then everything under that, like the only other two criteria, four star and three star. There's no two star or one star ratings. 4.9 out of five, this is perfect product. I would run with this. If you have a store that fits this niche, you sell phone cases, luxury items, anything like this, this product definitely fits my criteria. I don't know about you, you might have you know your own different system and stuff, you can go scan it, but this looks good to me. Good reviews, came quickly. Oh look, in Siberia, okay? You know how we talked about the shipping, it's not a big deal. This person's in Siberia and it took only two and a half weeks. Price is of course tracked, but quality sucks. Okay, good, fits well, got cracked. See, what I'm basically looking for is uh, about 75 to 90% of the comments overall being positive and then having really good ratings. So quality's good, match description, fast delivery, 
nice case, worth the money, blah, blah, blah. Good, case is beautiful, all this. Okay, so look, overall, it's positive. I'm not gonna waste too much time because I already can see that right off the bat. So this is definitely a good product. You know, it has a good amount of credibility since it's been given almost 2,800 reviews. So this specific product is a good one. All right, second product here that we're gonna talk about, uh, another phone case as well. I'm gonna switch into another complete niche, different type of products, but we're gonna go through two of the same type of products so that I can kind of show you guys the difference. This one as well, really good price, 99 cents to a buck 50. That's gonna give you a lot of margins if you wanna do a, a buy one, get one free, which is something I've been testing recently. If you wanna do free plus shipping, all that works, this fits the criteria. As for orders, it's a little bit high, but not high at all. It's perfectly fine, you could run with this. 11,000, that definitely gives it credibility. Um, like we did with the last one, look at the reviews overall. This has a 4.8 star. Um, it does have two one stars, so that might just be you know a defect or a dud product that people didn't like. But for the most of it, 8,600 people like it, so it's got a you know over 105 stars. So I'd definitely run with this one. This looks good. Like I said, multiple color options. Now, one thing I do want to point out here because I'm just seeing it with these photos, and we'll scroll down and I'll show you how to avoid this. But look at that. See right here where it says light pink on the screen. That's, these are the pictures you're going to want to put up on your store. So you're going to have to figure out how to get rid of that or find a picture of this specific product that doesn't have that. So pictures are huge because you're going to want to screenshot these and put them on your store. So if the pictures are very low quality, have stuff written on them like these ones do, you're going to have to think about that. You know Where are you going to get your pictures from because this can be a pain in the ass. Shipping time also doesn't have e-packet. Again, like we said, that's fine. Don't really worry about that. They have a lot in stock, so you don't really have to worry about selling out too fast or running out of stock, so you'll be good there. Um, got a buyer guarantee, which is pretty much I always look for products with that. Good product ratings. If we go through some of the comments here, let me scroll down. Looks good. Came fast. Good, good. Came two weeks before. Okay, so that means early shipping. That's good. The overall vibe I'm getting from this one. People like it, it's coming fast, not too many bad reviews. This is also a product I'd run with, you know. So if you're in the phone case niche or whatever, these two that we've been talking about right here, those are good to go. So um, let's go back here and pick a different type of product. Um, I'm just gonna go with a cat toy, for example, here. I know a lot of people, this is a passion based store. I do not have a cat store at all, but it would be a good niche, you know, just because people are very passionate about their pets and you wanna build your store around something that people are passionate about. Okay, so again, filter by order, which you don't always have to do. This is just something I like to do, um, just to kind of get immediately in my criteria range for how many orders they have. I am an incognito right now so that nothing pops up, but I guess it's showing that little email pop up. No big deal. Okay, so yeah. Okay, I've actually seen people sell these, right? Let's let's click on this one. Okay, so first thing, it's around 5 to $6 product. That's that's good. Good price range leaves you margins for when actually running some some ads, you are paying for shipping, but that is e-packet, so it's coming quickly within about two weeks, which is great. Has multiple different color options. These pictures look good. You could screenshot them, and I'm sure this is a, one of those products where you could just Google it, find more pictures. Uh, the biggest thing with that, you know, like I talked about having low-quality pictures or stuff on the pictures, uh, a lot of the times if you Google the product, you're not going to get the exact same one, and you have to be very, very careful with that. Because if you don't have the same one, you'll get people complaining. Trust me, I've had that issue. As for delivery, up yep, on-time delivery guaranteed in 22 days. That's good. It'll probably come faster. Reviews, let's go to the feedback section. Oh, yeah, look at that. By far, four and five stars, pretty much everything. 4.9 out of five stars. Uh, well over 1,500 people have voted on that. So that that's very impressive. A lot of people seem to like it. Uh, and again, you know, this is like the cat niche is something a lot of people do and a lot of people see success with. Um, who kind of know what they're doing. Um, but this one specifically only has 5,000 orders. So you know it's it's not completely blown up. When you see something with 20, 30, 50, 100,000 orders, it's usually a little bit saturated. You know, it's gotten out there. People are aware of it. Sure, you can always make sales. There's always room for more sales. But if you find something with lower orders, you might be able to catch that trend before it blows up. Now, let me just pull out my notes to make sure we're not missing anything here. I had a lot, a lot of different stuff I wanted to talk about. Okay, yeah, one thing, if it's applicable for your product, you know, this is typically if you're doing some sort of clothing, look in their description. I'll pull up a shirt here real quick and show you guys, but look in their description and see if they have a sizing chart because you're going to need that for your product description on Shopify. And if they don't have that, that's something you have to find, look for, or create on your own or just not have. So I always have that if they don't have it, I might, you know, even not choose that product. There's very few products on my store that I actually have on there with no sizing chart. So this one, it does show uh, a chart. It is Asian size, which is a little bit weird. Hopefully they show a few others, but 
you know, it's it's good enough. It gives people some reference. Okay, yeah, it does show US for reference here. So they're good to go there. Uh, this would be a good product. I haven't actually broken this down, so I don't know with the, the price and orders and everything, but always look for a sizing chart if that's applicable to your product and your niche for the product you're trying to do. That's something I just want to make sure that you guys know because a lot of people end up not actually adding that stuff into their product description. I'm going to make a video here in the next couple of days talking about product descriptions, but for right now, just know that that's something you want in there for sure. So look for that when you're looking for your products. Now, the only other thing I can really stress is to do your research. Look at a ton of different products, you know, like we were breaking down some phone cases. I bet there's tens of thousands of phone cases on AliExpress. Break them down by orders, by sellers, by reviews. You know, what's congruent, what you see people selling. Try to identify trends, see what's moving and why it's moving. You know, you can do some stuff on Google, which I'm sure we'll talk about in other videos. But this is the basics. That's kind of the stuff you need to know to really get it kickstarted and get that momentum going. I'm going to try and not spend a bunch of time breaking all this down, but there's obviously a lot more you need to know. We'll talk about more stuff in later videos, but this is definitely all you need to really get everything going today. Start finding good products with good reviews, with good pictures. Get it up on your site and go from there. I'm going through editing right now and I uh, realized I left one thing out that was super important that I wanted to tell you. So when you're filtering out your products, sort by orders like we talked about, but look at the one seller who has the most orders for a product that's in your niche and that you're putting on your store. Take the one product that has the absolute most orders, ideally like 100,000 or something just massive like that, and then look at the other products that they have listed on their AliExpress account. Usually those other products are gonna be hot as well or at least starting to get hot. Just another place to look for potential trends and to catch stuff early so hope that helps so i hope that helped you guys gave you some value and kind of gave you a, a sense of direction and an idea on how and what i look for when i'm doing my product research on aliexpress if you haven't already be sure to hit that subscribe button below and drop a like if you want me to keep doing these every single day also if you have any video suggestions just drop them in the comments below i've been responding to every single one and i'm actually getting a lot the channel's blowing up i really really appreciate the support to everyone out there who's dropping likes dropping comments and leaving a lot of positive feedback thank you you guys are the ones that make this worth it i'll see you guys in the next video peace